Parker has grown up doing nothing other than expeditions that push him both physically and mentally to the limits, but it's his drive and self-motivation that's almost unrivaled. He seems to live to succeed where people deem things impossible. In contrast, Katie was a model, and she spent most of her time strutting around in front of the camera. Walking four and a half thousand kilometres along the Great Wall of China was something far, far beyond what I thought was possible for someone like me. And I don't think no matter how much training I did, I would have ever felt ready when I started. It was just being bold enough to begin. I was doing my best to ski down an icy through blue run and past Tarka skiing uphill, dragging his mother. At which point I thought, no, nope, he's definitely crazy. Katie showed a staggering ability to adapt. She went from being a model to carrying a pack half her body weight right the way across northern China through the extremes of temperature. With regards to what we chose to do, 52,000 kilometres, uh, as Katie pointed out, a little ambitious for a first jaunt, possibly. Although both Tarka and I achieved the same end goal, we had very different personal journeys along the way. And I think it's this that makes our talk so unique. Yeah, it's very inspirational. Um, I love their presentation style. That was what I was commenting on. And there's me absolutely terrified. All I want to do is go home. And I'm trying to explain to this taxi driver that we're professionals. We have trained. We've come with all the right gear and we really can achieve this. And all I wanted to do is get in that car. Every day of our journey, we had to face seemingly insurmountable odds. But I actually think that it was overcoming these hardships and adversities that made our journey such a resounding accomplishment. I'd seen Ray Mears do this whole recycling your urine thing. And I was thinking to myself, I was thinking, this is not going well. If we have to recycle our urine this early on in the expedition, this is doomed for failure. Something that I never expected on my return from China is that what I have accomplished has actually inspired other people to either go on and do things in life or do things in a different way. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, I think it, it brought the personal touch to it, you know, and it made you think, well, yes, I could do that, perhaps. <laughs> I went to pretty much every department the hospital had, only to find out that I had got compression of the spine. Although she's playing it down, Katie actually lost a whole inch over the course of our journey. There was this sort of fear, almost, of us when we arrived in places and people would stand uh, at quite a distance. They wouldn't want to come too close and they were very apprehensive about engaging us. And all it would take from us is a little smile. And the smile for them was almost like this <laughs> cue for them to suddenly <laughs> rush towards us and see that it was okay, we were friendly. I think that Katie epitomizes achieving potential in every aspect. If she can go from being a commercial model to walking four and a half thousand kilometres at minus 35 across the Gobi Desert, then really anybody can achieve anything. It's a long way. <laughs> oh, definitely. It's inspired me. I just think if somebody like Katie can go from being a model to I've never doing an exhibition before, you know, it's really inspired me and motivated me to achieve what I want to achieve out of life and that I can do it.